So, this is the Second Nature Notebook of 2022, and we're at a very local nature reserve, which I was thinking of going to for a long time, called Cossington Meadows. And I'm going to call it Cossington Meadows Hell Enough for local nature reserve. And anyway, it's owned by the Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust, and there's been some good birds here, and not seen here recently, so we're going to have a look. So looking out on the feeders, there are actually quite a few great tit here on the feeder and some blue tit just behind the trees, so not too visible, but you can see them. And robin as well. The green finch that's been flitting around, hard to get a photo of though. So I um I think this is called the turnbull. Anyway, there's a uh, Coo out here, really far away though. Everything's quite far away. Definitely including this shoveler and bathing black caddy gold, having a good old splash. It's a pair here actually, shoveler. And here is a male upending. You get a lovely long beak, isn't it? A lot of shoveler here today, much more than I expected. And here is a pair, so a female and a male this time. And a sleeping widgeon just floating along. Again, they're really all far, quite far away. You have to look over the reeds. I think they should build some viewpoints here, definitely. Maybe a couple of viewpoints or a hide or something. That'll be good. My highlight of the day is definitely at the upper marsh as there is a pintail here. No, I've never seen a pintail and I've never expected to see something as beautiful as this and as rare as this so close to me despite it being winter. Oh, this is... This is epic. So this is my first pintail I've ever seen. Such a beautiful bird. I mean, I've been wanting to see them for ages. I mean, it's the sort of bird you see on a marsh but there's actually a pair of pair here I think. She did a little quick bob I think. The little bob. It's quite cute. And you can't forget all the good old lapwing here. It's a big flock. You could hear them flying over earlier. But it's nice to finish with. It's been a great day here. 